Hello, my name is Jean-Francois Boivin, and I'm production manager on Assassin's Creed 2. Today, we'll show you a few cool new features that we've added in the game through this short walkthrough. So here we are, Italy, 15th century, with a breathtaking view of the city of Florence and all of its famous landmarks. We now have an economic system. Players will get to do what they want with the money they earned. They'll be able to buy various weapons, armors, and as shown here, the poison vial. Progression was really important for us. Ezio will learn throughout the adventure to become a better assassin. Thanks to Leonardo da Vinci, we now have a lot of new tools at our disposal. Let's take out this guard with our hidden gun. We now have a lot of secondary missions that are not mandatory to the main path. I'll head to the pigeon coop to get one secondary assassination mission. I have been hired as Lorenzo de Medici's personal assassin, and I'll need to assassinate the target he tells me to. Here, I need to kill a target without being seen. Let's go kill our target who's near the Novella Church. Our assassin has a lot of new moves at his disposal and he'll need to use all of them to overcome the challenges that our level designer has put in this environment. Players can now use the eagle vision while moving around. Here's our target with the yellow glow. He seems to have a bodyguard with him who's glowing in red. Let's throw some coins to distract the crowd and use the poison we purchased and poison the guard with our hidden needle. As you can see, he's going berserk and kills our target. My hands are still clean. Now I know there's a secret location I need to go to behind those guards there to the left. Let's hire these mercenaries and use them to Make fight these guards while I slip through them unnoticed. Another of Leonardo's upgrades, the double hidden blade. Really effective to take out multiple enemies at once. Here's the secret location I need to go to. The secret locations are interiors of several famous landmarks. You can discover their entrance in various regions of the game. The gameplay in these locations will challenge the player in acrobatics, puzzles and stealth. These locations are not bound to the main quest, but offer hours of additional gameplay details about the story of the Assassins and Templars War, and a special reward as players complete each of them. These interior maps are another way we give players diversity in Assassin's Creed 2. Players will get to visit the inside of a church, a catacomb, a palace, and each location will really push all the abilities of our assassin to the limit. Merda, the door. Keep watch while I go look. This was supposed to be an easy job. I told you we shouldn't have come here. If I hear anything, I'm running to the other guard post, so help me God! Again, Ezio can literally assassinate from everywhere. Use smoke bombs if he wants to avoid an encounter. Saverio! I'll be back with the other guards! What first started as an exploration mission now turns into a high-paced chase sequence. 
this guard is trying to run to the other guard post to warn them of my presence. In the game, players can either succeed in chasing him or let him go, which will require them to face multiple enemies. Now this guard will do some moves that'll force me to react quickly in order to keep up with the pace. So this chase sequence is all about high profile free running. And as you can see, the environment is very different from a typical Assassin's Creed 1 chase sequence. All right, I got him, so I'll be able to get by unnoticed. Each secret location has a special reward at the end. If players find and complete all the locations, they will get an ultimate reward. And here I am, back in Florence, free to make my way to my next objectives. Thanks for watching.